morning guys it's me here again your boy pedro and today i am going to be hunting a monster this when it first came here to barbados it had wreaked havoc on this little island here so today i am going to hunt this monster right now i'm here in oysters and I'm going to hunt this monster, as I said. So, just let me get my equipment so I can hunt this monster. Right, two buckets. So, as I said, when this thing first came to Barbados, it had devastated a lot of our island. So today, I'm going to tackle this monster. Yes, I'm going to um, be brave and tackle this monster today for the sake of my country. And, you know, I hope all you guys out there are okay and are coping um, with this pandemic. Um, anyhow, Without further ado, I'm going to show you guys the monster I'm speaking about. And here we go. See this guy here? It's called the Sargasm TV. And um, when, it first come to the, when it first came to the island, a lot of... Um, we didn't really know what to do with him. To be honest with you, we were in Barbados. We all panicked because oh, that was a big thing. Because um, this seaweed had been wreaking havoc here on the island. But as you know, human beings are clever. So some people in Barbados they say, you know what? We can make something out of seaweed. So some people take it and put it on the garden bays. Some people um, actually uh, on the process are trying to get energy out of it. So today I'm gonna to tackle something for you guys. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna get two buckets. I'm going to take up some. I have some dry one and some wet one. So see I'm in I'm in, I'm in, I'm in oil stains right now. So here we go. I'm gonna take up two bucketfuls of, of sargasm seaweed. And we're gonna take this and take this home. We're gonna take this home. And we're gonna put this to the garden. We're gonna put it around the edges of the bed. Because it, what, what it does, it protects the garden from the bugs and stuff. So, Get some some of the seaweed. Here is a separate bucket. Okay. I'm gonna try to separate the bucket. There you go. So, as I said, I'm gonna use some of the black one. This one here is it's not space all right. Just take it up, shake it off. I do a mixture. I do a mixture of the really wet and the dry. So I'm gonna put some dry one in this one here, and then I'm gonna just get more dry water so as you can see this one up here it's a lot drier this one here is a lot drier see so I'm gonna mix put it on top of this one even if it's dry when it's when, when you water it some of the and it, it still have the salt I'm going to use more of the dry one here. It 
does have an order, but it's a kind of a, it's, if you don't have the big beach, um, the order is not that strong, you just, it just take a little bit. So, I'll have. Guys, I've done my little part to try to help the island deal with the seaweed. <laughs> so, as I'm here, hi guys, um, I'm here again, and I'm just on the outside of the Graham Hall swamp. Um, I came this morning down to get some Chinese. So I'm a little, little early. So I decided to take a little stroll on the outside of the Graham Hall Swamp just to see what plants I can see. You see this is the Graham Hall Swamp to my left right here. And there's a plant that is called Seed Under the Leaf. Um, this is a good set growing through here here it's called seed on the leaf because under the leaf it has some like seeds that's under the leaf there's some um, dandelion and stuff through here um, this won't be that long it's just take a nice little stroll as I said I'm waiting on my lunch my to finish from the Chinese restaurant Guangdong actually that's, that's the Chinese restaurant I go to and I have um, vegetable chow mein. As I say, I don't, I don't use um, meat, so I just have a veg plate, vegetable chow mein. And I go home and I will um, do a, um, a salad with some dandelion, some lettuce, um, some kale, um, a banana. So. That is my lunch, and I will eat it. We will set this today, this morning, or this afternoon. And then by five, six, I will eat the rest because I don't eat after seven. So, and that's a funny thing because I started this program where I only eat. Uh, my latest time I eat is like seven thirty. And then next time I eat is just after 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning time. So it's not like I'm, it's not like I started a fasting. It just happened to just say, you know what, just do it. And that's what it really is. And I've been doing that now for about three months. This is March, three to four months. Cause I started this whole thing in December basically just decided to stop eating meat after that last pork cut that ham cutter that was it i said it was not going to as you can see there's a nice trail going straight up to here um as i said i don't have that time i just i just um came out to get some chinese but you can see there's a nice trail going up to here i don't know where it's going so one of these days you will take that journey we go straight up to where it ends. So we're gonna go back down to the beach. I wanna show you guys. Um, I saw a good patch of blue vervain. It's actually growing on the beach. That's a really nice strong plant. And also a, a medicinal plant. Um, you guys, as I said, you have the internet, Google, so you can find out about the plants and stuff. If you have Google, Google also has the Google Lens and the Google Snap, where you can take a picture of the flower and you can send it to Google and then Google will tell you what it is. 
as they say, I like to taste things. So I'll taste this. Um, we have a strong sink. Mm. It's really bitter. It goes off this, this tree right here. I think this is a seed on the leaf, but not so sure. But I just like to taste the plants. I would just pick a leaf and taste. And if I can stomach the taste, then I will inquire about it. And I will try to remember where I saw that plant. But it's not every plant that I take up. As you can see, there's a Graham Hall swamp over there. It's closed at the moment. It's nice. It's a nice area. Nice um in the swamp is a lot of fish. When you go inside the Graham Hall and they, uh, you buy a bag of fish food and you're going to throw it underwater and then you see these big, I mean really, really big fish. I don't know what's the name of them. This one has a nice sink. Try not to eat that today. Because I wasn't really planning on a taste journey. I just decided you know what, I gotta wait for my food. So let me just go for a little walk. And as I just say, this plant right here, this plant right here, you guys can see this plant. I was inquiring about this plant and I was told that this is Kalalu. I don't know if you guys out there could um, verify it. But I say it's Kalu. I asked a Jamaican lady and she said me, yeah, this is Kalalu. And the Vinci guy tell me you also use it, but use it for a different purpose. Um see it's not mm, not bad. It doesn't taste that bad. I mean, it will taste good in rice. Okay. I know there's another tree that I'm gonna actually taste. This is this one right here. I don't know the name of this one but it looks like a dandelion it looks like a dandelion so i just it has a nice nice strong nice strong order but i wait till this i won't settle something i'll try to get this one out of my mouth or swallow it so you come through here you'll see this behind me to the other side over there that's the graham hall and then there's this pond of water that goes all the way, all the way right up, all the way right up. It goes all up there. Yeah. So as I say, I, this is not a planned trip. It's just out by the way. So I'm going to taste the leaf now. They have a they have a scent something like um, a basil and um, it has like a basil basil taste it just took my mouth it has a nice like a um, basil a earthy taste as I say between here there's a lot of um, different um, plants that's going between here um, this is the Graham Hall over the side. So, so one of these days I will actually take here as the journey and we will go hunting for plant life. Sometimes we could add to our play. So I'm going back over. So I'm gonna go back over to the beach. And as you guys can see, Take out that bird right there. There you see he goes, there he goes. I hope you guys can pick it out. Right there. So he's gonna be diving up some of the fish out of the water. Anyhow, we're gonna go back across the road to the Chinese restaurant. But on my way back across, I saw the plant that I really want. Piece of it, and 
I don't know it as a big tree, I only know it as a small little tree. And I've seen it growing right here. So this little fella here, if you guys can see it, this little guy here, this is called seed under the leaf. If you can see like, I don't know if you guys can see this. The seed under the leaf right there. See them the seeds right there? So this is called a seed under the leaf. And I'll try to just get peace. I don't really want to break the roots, so I'll try to pull one. There you go, I get some root. Try to pull. I get some root. So, I like to, so I'm going to pull it up, try to get as much root as I can to replant. So there you go. I just take these three little guys home with me. So here it is. This is called seed under the leaf. If you can see under the leaves, you can see some like small little seeds. So, well, that's that's the name it was. I was told a couple uh, weeks ago. Uh, it's called seed under the leaf. I don't know the scientific name for it, but later on, I will take a picture in my Google with my Google Lens, and I will give you guys the scientific name for it. Right now I am at the beach. I am on here down here is called Wording Beach. Yes. The back of Wording's Road. It's, right. So you see the sea is nice and calm. So I'll take myself over the picture. So you guys can have a nice look at the beach. And come on down guys, come on down to Barbados. Come on down to Barbados. And you can have some of this nice, nice, fresh air, fresh salt water, nice white sands. Come on down to guys. Barbados is open for business. Come on down. So as I go back to the restaurant, I'll show you guys some blue vervain that's growing on the beach. This plant is a real resilient plant. This plant can grow almost anywhere. I've seen it growing in mud. I saw it growing through concrete. I've seen it grow on rocks on the, on the on a cliff. But this is the first time I've ever seen it growing onto the beach. But it was it has been here long, it's just that I didn't really know what it was then. But now I know what it is. I'll just show you guys a batch here. So as you can see, the plant here on the ground is over my shoulders. Right here. This is blue for me. Yeah. And it's right on the beach. I'm not telling you guys to come and put it up because they're on somebody's property, but I'm just showing you guys that that's the blue bird there, all right there. So, so I'm leaving the beach. I'm heading back up to Guangdong restaurant, Chinese restaurant, to get my lunch and go home. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys on YouTube following me. My name is Pedro Richards. I'm on YouTube. Follow, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Share as many things as you want. Let your friends know that on the Pedro Richards channel, we um, teaching, we teach how to make teas, how to make juices, how to make shakes. Um, some cooking, some exercising, breathing, walking properly. So, then again, guys, bye. I'm back at the restaurant right now. Let me show you the building. This is in where it is. This is Guangdong. Um, see you guys. Remember, follow me on YouTube, Pedro Richards. Love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.